how to be thankful for something that is not there in your physical experience yet. It is about being thankful. And maybe you also have difficulties yeah, being thankful for something you do not perceive to be here yet. And maybe you perceive yourself as yeah, someone who's running after illusions and you know it's fake and why should I be thankful of money that's not there yet? Why should I be thankful of a relationship that is not there? Why should I be thankful of my specific person reaching out when they don't? Everything already is created. As Neville Goddard said, creation is finished. It's done. And the question of freedom and determinism used to drive me crazy, honestly. And I tried to examine it from different points of view. When I studied philosophy, I took a class on ancient Greek philosophy about freedom and determinism. I took another class, kind of like a mixture of biophysics or biochemistry and philosophy which means that there is something in our biochemistry that is giving us the impulse to do something before we consciously decide so it already has been decided before we do it i wrote my master thesis on harry potter where i compared harry to neville and lord voldemort because i wanted to find out if all have a very similar experience growing up without their parents why did one turn out to be good and the other one turn out to be evil is it freedom or is it determinism one was born as a psychopath for example and that was nothing that was free of choice and the other came from a loving family so there is some differences that are basically determination but then i have been working as a psychic for so many years since 2005 and i have seen how fates can change throughout my life. So I have experienced freedom of choice, free will, but all of my academics and getting into physics, you know, time is an illusion. Everything pointed strictly to determinism. It used to drive me crazy until I learned about the multiverse and different timelines, which makes so much sense. Yes, everything is determined because everything already happened, but then it did happen in an infinite number of times, uh -huh. which means there is parallel universes and we constantly shift. So there is free will within all of that that has already been created. Which means if you want to manifest something, you try to manifest that specific sum of money or just wealth in general and you have a picture of that. You can only have a picture of that or you can only have a picture of being with your specific person if that has been created in this multiverse. Otherwise, you could not hold a clear picture of that. Or so they say. I'm kind of struggling with the question, but if I can have a clear picture of growing wings and flying, is that going to be possible? <laughs> I love flying, so I don't know if there are some limits within it. But if you can imagine possessing that specific car that you love, it does exist. This timeline, it does exist exist out there for you so it already has been created it is simply our job to open up to receive it and we do that by telling however you want to call it the universe your higher self that higher part of you that is reading your subconscious mind that is reading your beliefs what story do you tell yourself what is your old story have you placed your old story like lack consciousness with abundance consciousness so that it can come when you close your eyes can you imagine having that money in your bank account that person right next to you and if you can't imagine it it has been created and that is why we get into this mode of being thankful because there is a timeline where you already have it it has been done creation is finished so we're not trying to be thankful about something we don't perceive as doesn't exist yet because it does exist it is just nothing that you could draw into your own personal life your 3d life yet because it's not a match to your frequency or your assumptions however you want to call that i often feel like those belong together i feel there is a bit of a war between law of assumption and law of attraction i feel it kind of melts into one another because if your frequency is low then 
you're most likely to think very negative about things. But when you clear up your assumptions, you automatically start vibrating higher and being more happy. So I feel that that is somewhat intertwined. I believe the law of assumption is the more powerful one. But if you really work on clearing your assumptions, if you imagine having what you want to have, doesn't matter if you script it or you visualize it or you daydream about it or you have your affirmations, if that makes you feel good, then it does raise your frequency and it will attract or manifest however word you would like to use. But to me, those are law of attraction, law of assumption, they are entangled at least in some way so we're not trying to get into the state of yes i am thankful for my person being here when they're not you close your eyes and you imagine being with your person in that moment and that moment if you do it right it should give you some kind of relief or make you feel happy if you're really that down that you think about your person or you think about money and it makes you feel bad, then I would advise you not trying to manifest that specific thing in that moment. Try to think about something completely else that gives you a little bit relief. Sometimes it's really hard to think positive about something when you are in this deep pain. Then I would advise let your pain just happen. Let it get out of your system. Cry. Let it get out. I always like to use the metaphor with my clients, imagining a surfer on the ocean and there is no wife and that person is just sitting on their board and they know that it would take a lot of strength to just swim back to the shore or paddle back to the shore but there is always a new wave coming i mean a surfer probably would check the wind right they would not go out in the ocean if the news said that there was no wind that day i suppose i don't know i'm not a surfer so it's better to just sit on your board and trust that a new wave a new wave of energy it will always come and then you get on that board and then you manifest but if you're in a deep 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 low just forget about it in that moment i don't know watch netflix go meet your friends doesn't matter but there will be a new wave of energy and then you can start manifesting and then you can close your eyes and visualize having that wealth or having that specific person that is what you should be thankful about when you feel them when you talk to them when at least for a small fragment of time <laughs> Time is an illusion, but we perceive time. You feel it as real. Be thankful for that. And when you're thankful for feeling that thing or person real, just for a small amount of time, and you do that more often, you do that occasionally, only say don't try to manifest five hours a day because that comes out of lack. You know, when you have the belief, the more I do, the faster it comes, that is not how it works because then you still vibrate very much or you hold the assumption, it's not here, it's not here, I have to do a lot so, it's, so it can come. And that is not what inspired action is. You do your work, you do your affirmations, your visualization, Yes, it is important to do that because that is how you get it into your subconscious mind. We form a new belief by constant repetition. So that is vital. But the rest of the day, stay on your mental diet and think about things that do feel good. You probably have something to be grateful about. You have an electric device with which you listen to this recording right now. You probably have a place to live or at least a place to stay. You may have some friends. You may have some things that you can be grateful about. And if you focus on the things that are good in your life, the universe reads that, oh, things are good in your life and it will give you more of that. But the more you focus on lack, the longer it will hold that away. So be thankful because it already is created for you. If you have that picture in your head or if you cannot really visualize, I don't mean necessarily an image, but you know what you want, you have that desire, it means the universe already created it for you. It means automatically you can have it. So that is why we are thankful. And when we step into the energy of being thankful, it can finally manifest in our physical life. But the physical life, it's not real. It is a projection of our inside, of our assumptions. And we often think it's the other way around. We think, well, my 3D life, that is what's real. And what's in my head is just imagination. It's not real. It's just fantasy. But it is the other way around. You close your eyes and you imagine something and then 
it can be projected. What you experience is nothing but your dominant belief or your dominant frequency within you, your dominant assumptions. That is why we do work on changing those. And that is also why we do work mainly on our self-concept. If we try to manifest the person coming in, but we have a deep-rooted program of rejection, you may manifest contact and then you have that person pulling away again because your other belief you know, the one, the story you tell yourself, I've always been rejected is stronger. Or if you have the belief of being poor and you manifest money, well, it will automatically leave again and you will have to, you know, something breaks and you have to buy something new. It, you cannot hold it. If your frequency is still in lack. That is why we do the work, but we focus less on that thing coming. We focus more on treating ourselves, on finding limiting beliefs and overcoming them. And then... Be thankful because what you want, you can have it. It's just you who is standing in your own way. It's not the universe playing dice like you can have that and you cannot have that. That person gets what you don't get. It's not like that. It is just what assumption, what energy do you hold within yourself. Change that and you will change your experience. I hope it helped. If you need help with that, you can reach out for personal coaching. You can help me by liking, subscribing, sharing, hitting the bell icon, checking out my other content and leaving comments. All of that does something to the algorithm that will help me grow my channel and spread the message. If you need more help with that, you can reach out for a personal coaching. If this video helped you a lot and you want to leave a little tip, my PayPal link is below. And I do see you in another video or a personal coaching and till then I do wish you all the best now bye bye